Hello, good morning, guys. So today our podcast will be about powerful woman podcast deposit one. So my guest speaker is Phoebe Yeo. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Phoebe. So I am actually in Singapore right now. So yes. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I would like to ask the question about your work first. Okay. Because everyone has a different different professional. Mm-hmm. So, what I would ask is, what do you like? Okay, what do you like being work as financial consultant? So, um, as you know, that I'm a financial consultant. So, a financial consultant in Singapore, what we do is uh, mainly we deal with insurance. So, it's like protection and savings for the people. Okay, so what I do is um, helping people to do their financial planning. So it's got to do with money and to achieve financial freedom. So what that means also is that um, when they are trying to plan for themselves and for their kids' education or even for their retirement. Also, most importantly, as you know, like in Singapore, right, our medical is expenses are very high so what happens is that we help to protect uh, our people so that's one thing that I like to do is because I also get to be a listener so I hear different stories and the different stories um, you're able to see that everybody have different walks of life yeah so I think that's some there's two things that I like in my job so, yeah that's great it sounds great so that's things people need to love in their job which they do right yeah trying to make sure it should be happy things they can do that's right um so it's always good to love what you do um you know like getting a job with high income is one thing but even if you do not like the job you will make you would think that the work will be very tiring Mm -hmm. so if you can find a passion go for the passion that you um that you have and try to make it work you know, because yeah. once work and passion comes together, mm-hmm. your work doesn't feel like work anymore. Yeah. Okay. So next question. Mm. Thank you for the first one. And next question, I would like to ask about what do you like to do most in your free time? Okay. So <laughs> this is a very good question because I don't really have a lot of free time. But uh, when I do have a free time, I usually hang out with my family. So I have two young kids, they're all like four and six. So what we do usually do is we go outdoors, we uh, go to the park, or sometimes we go shopping. And then also like I hang out with my friends. So when we hang out with friends, we go out for meals and all that just to catch up with life and what's going on. And um, family is very important to me. So during free time, they are my number one. <laughs> so yeah. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah. And you have a pretty two angels. Yeah, so sounds great. One girl, one boy. Um, my girl's the oldest, so she's six, and she is cheeky but really weedy. So I think that's that's really cool. And my boy, he's one loving, loving guy. So yeah, really, really thankful for both of them. Yep. I see. That's great. <coughs> It sounds fantastic. <laughs> okay, what? This is that's funny question. Mm-hmm. So sorry about to ask about it. <laughs> no be laughing. Also. <laughs> what do you like most about your age? Okay, um, I don't know. Do you, have you guys guessed how old I am yet? <laughs> um, so I'm actually thirty six this year, and actually, um, you know, like I'm pretty sure a lot of people say, oh, thirty six, you. I'm so old, this and that. But actually, I really think that um, 36 is, I'm still really, really young. And what I like about it is because I feel that I'm still young and I'm also capable to do a lot more in life. Now, uh, when I say capable, is also because of my age, you have much more life experience. Mm-hmm. And you are able to have control of what I want or what the future I want to have. You know, there's a, there's a saying, the choices I make today will determine the future that I will have for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like, yes, I am 35, 36, and what I like is I'm enjoying my life that I can give. 
you know, and I get the the I get to have control in what I do. So making good choices that is very important. I'll say, and yes, I do love my age a lot. <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. You know, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it's like, but you have you should get appreciated because it's amazing. You know, whatever how old doesn't matter you how. Doesn't matter how old you are, just think about that you are healthy, you have yes. everything you want. Exactly. And also you want, you can do anything you like to do. You know, I, yeah, that just brings me to another point. You know, I can be 36 now, but I cannot be 36 again. Mm -hmm. So it means like whatever age you are, if you're 25, mm -hmm. you're 28, you're only 28 and 25 once. After that, it's gone. So maybe you want to ask yourself, now that you are 25, what have I done in my life? So if I want to, even when I go to my next birthday, what do I want to achieve in this in this year? You know, and one thing that we have to be thankful of, as you all know that we are all under the COVID-19 pandemic right now, the thing is that I think through this pandemic, it allows us, allow me actually, to actually reflect about how fragile life is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like if you're healthy, great. If you're not, please do go to a doctor and check up. Mm -hmm. um, life is very precious. Um, do not waste it. You only have one life. So I would say that um, take this opportunity to actually reflect on your life. You know, everybody, your life is worth it and all of you guys are so unique. I know I'm, I'm different from you and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm also different from everybody else here. And all of us can bring our gifts together and help each other. So yeah, yeah, that's true. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, how do you spend your time, like your me time? My how me do time. You oh, spend? time. Okay, me time is very, really very, important. very, very important, but very limited too. <laughs> so my me time usually, um, what I do is self care. Self care is very important. I only learn about. Having self care only two years ago, yeah, it took very long for me to actually understand self care. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a mother, so of course, you know, we always give a lot to our kids. You are and a stuff. beautiful mother. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing I do is I go for massage mm -hmm. and also for facial. But mm -hmm. also, sometimes I stay home, just uh, lay in bed and actually just watch my video, <laughs> watch movies, you know, just to chill and stuff. Which is great. I like that. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the question. How do you motivate yourself in your future? So how do I... To be, okay, how do you motivate yourself oh, motivate to be myself. better in your future? Okay, so... Something in terms of encourage, right? Yeah, so the thing is that, you know, all of us... Um, I would say, I think as you've known, like we always face problems in our lives. Mm -hmm. And how do I motivate myself? So whatever problems you have, um, I always believe that, I'm a Christian, right? So I believe that everything happens for a purpose, even good or bad. There is a purpose for, me, for it to happen. You know, some people believe in karma. For me, it's just, I believe everything happens for a purpose. And I always ask myself is, what can I learn from this? How am I going to solve this if there's a problem? And it's just a change of mindset. So there's two M's that I always follow. Mm -hmm. One is called mindset and one is called meditation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the two M's. So the mindset, I have three quotes. Um, you guys can take it out if you want. I, I mean, this really, really helps me. 100% possible, 100% mm -hmm. of the time. So it means that I have a problem. How am I going to solve it? And Actually, 100% possible, 100% of the time. It's just how we deal with it. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to make the effort. So, again, that, that's choice. Another one, if it's to be, it's up to me. So, there's a problem. You know, if you have a problem like a relationship problem, I'm pretty sure all of us have, right? Um, the thing is that we need to know we cannot change the other person. So, the person that has to change is me. So, if it's to be, it has to start with me. If there's a problem with the other person, no matter how, you know, like, crazy you think that person is, mm -hmm. 
the change has to start with you because the only person can change is we only can control our actions we can't control other people's actions mm-hmm. and um, that's true you yeah. know mm-hmm. and of course uh, in terms of meditation as I said I'm a Christian so I do the word of God so for me is a prayer so there's two verses that really really um, help me ground me mm-hmm. and when I say ground me that is I like always I read it and stuff like that mm-hmm. So one of it is Joshua one nine is be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for wherever I go, God is with me. Mm-hmm. The other one is Philippians uh, four six. Do not be anxious, but in everything in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, that will be made known to God. So for me, is praying does help me. You know, it calms me down, and I know that uh, for me, I believe there's a higher power. So when there is a problem in the future, this and that. It's we need to ground ourselves, like yeah, like yeah. how can you deal with your yes. this problems in yeah. your life, right? Because life is not gonna be a bed of roses. If anybody tells you that life is so going to be easy, uh, I'm so sorry to break this to you. No, it's not. <laughs> life as as you grow older, we all will have different kinds of problems. The problems I face will not be the problems you face. Mm-hmm. You know, it will be all different. So it's just how we deal with it. So I think how to motivate yourself is everybody can find different ways to mm-hmm. to uh, find it. So yeah. those are the two M's for me: Men, uh, mindset mm-hmm. and prayer, meditation. Yeah. Okay. Sounds very great. <laughs> Thank you. That was like no kind of problem. motivation to me as well. So please, the last question mm. I would like to ask you about your high education. So okay. You told mm-hmm. me before. You were studying in America, so please tell me about your high education. So, what's okay. the high education you understand? So, yeah, I am actually a financial consultant, but when I went for my higher education, I was doing music. I was actually a music professor before I changed to a financial consultant. Um, what happens is that even with my music, um, I actually did pretty well, and I would say all thanks to my music. Education with my, which is also my higher education. It also helped me in my fin- financial consulting. Okay, so as you know that the world right now that we live in, if you look in the news and all that, it is evolving. When I say evolving, means in terms of culture, in terms of what's happening in the world. Mm-hmm. So where you are in Mongolia or in even for me in Singapore, is all we have different problems and different things that we face. Okay, so I was actually studying in the U.S. for twelve years. And um, I always believe that when you go for higher education, it's not a matter of just a place. Not You can go to Australia, UK, whatsoever. But the thing is that I believe life is always an ever-learning journey. So higher education, it is very important. Okay, um, If we stop learning, then in Chinese we say, It means that we, we will be left, left behind. You know, so we have to keep up with the future. And why is it important? Is because it allows you to have maybe the in- career that interests you, mm-hmm. inspires you. As I said, maybe passion. So passion. how do you, how do you use your passion? And sometimes higher education can allow you to go even further in your passion. And also with higher education, you have freedom. So freedom. The freedom. Freedom. Freedom to choose yeah. your career, and the most likely that you enjoy. So when you enjoy it, sometimes higher, higher job satisfaction comes higher income, which everybody also wants, right? <laughs> so yeah, so I would say um, I'm a big advocate of education, mm-hmm. and especially for higher education. So yeah, so that's one, one thing that I would say about higher education. It's if you want to do it, I think I'm pretty sure that you can, you know, Google it or, you know, Trying to find some ways to get more answers. Um, if not, you can still ask me next time. <laughs> yeah. I see. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Pepe, for our today's podcast. No to problem. Talk about your amazing things. <laughs> I am I'm actually. It's my privilege to talk to you too. Yeah. That's, yeah. It, that's the great thing we sharing and. You know, telling to each other about our these amazing things, what happened in your life, or what you have learned, mm-hmm. so what you can do. Yeah. So 
Um, I would say that, again, everybody, you know, you have different problems in your life, right? So, you, are like, for me, I have dealt with death, broken marriage, and, you know, like, life will always throw you something. It's just a matter of how are you going to stand up and deal with it, you know? So, as again, I told you my two ends, the meditation and mindset, is whatever problems you have, it don't always don't stay there. Don't stay in a rut. That's why I would say don't dig a hole. Come out of it and then get moving. You know? Okay. What's your favorite word you would like to say? So is that like word you say just recently? Come recently, out? come out. Oh, so means that don't stay in the rut. So meaning like don't dig a hole and just be a victim about your problem. Yeah. What you want to do is you say okay. I'm going to be higher than that. I am going to be better than that. So I come out of that hole and start moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's always got to do with choice. It's either you want to stuck in the hole forever, or you can come out of the hole and then get to see what the future holds for you. That's true. Thank you so much for talking <laughs> no about these amazing things with me. And thank you so much, guys. And see you next time for the post Thank you. Thank you.